This guide shows you how to copy music tracks from iTunes to an external device such as an external hard drive or an external USB pen drive. We first need to find out the drive letter used for our external device. So at this point make sure that the external hard drive or pen drive or USB drive is unplugged. Next, if we're using Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 10, we need to click on the yellow folder at the bottom of the screen. Click this once. You'll see the File Explorer window open. The next thing we need to do is click on this PC. And that's two clicks on this PC. Now, if you're running Windows XP or Windows Vista, or you don't have the yellow folder at the bottom of the screen, then click on the Start menu and then click either My Computer or Computer or This PC. This will get you to this area. The next thing we need to do is we need to keep an eye on the screen whilst plugging in our external hard drive or USB pen drive. You will notice soon after plugging it in another icon will appear. And as you can see in my case the icon is E. Now that's the name of my external device. Yours may differ. If you didn't see something appear then best thing to do is to pull it out or eject it if you know how to eject it and then plug it back in again and see what appears here. The next thing we need to do is we need to go into iTunes. So open iTunes. When we're in iTunes we need to find the album or the track that we want to copy to our USB device. So here I've only got one album on the computer so I click once on the, on the album and I find the track that I want to copy. So <clears throat> once I've found the track I right click on the track name, a menu appears, I need to move my mouse up to get info and then left click once. I then need to move my mouse over the word file and left click once. At the bottom of the file screen you should see location. This tells you where the file is stored on your computer. This is the original music file that's needed by iTunes and your computer to play. So what we need to do is we need to go to this location on the computer where the actual file is stored. Now don't be under the impression that because it's in iTunes and it's in this location it's on your computer twice. It's not on your computer twice. iTunes gets the file from the, the location shown here whenever it needs to play it or copy it to your iPod or tablet or, or iPhone. Um, so you, you haven't got the file on there twice. It's just this is where the computer actually stores the file for iTunes to grab the file when it needs it. So what we need to do is we need to hold down a left mouse button just before the first letter next to the word location. In my case it's C. So, And I hold down the left mouse button. As you can see it highlights in blue. Now, in actual fact, the C hasn't highlighted in blue because I've actually moved my mouse too far to the right. So I'm just going to click away. So left click away. And then I'm going to move my mouse just back to just before the C. Like I say, it may differ on yours. This to, It may be a D, it may be an E, depending on where the music's stored. But as you can see, as I move my mouse close to the C, the little uh, arrow turns into an I. So I hold down the left mouse button once it's turned into an I and then drag the mouse across to the right. And what I want to do is I need to drag it to the last forward slash. Now, it doesn't really matter if you include the forward slash or not. Once it's uh, on the last forward slash, okay, I let go of the left mouse button and then move my mouse anywhere over the part that's highlighted in blue. Be careful not to tap the left mouse button at any point. If you tap the left mouse button you might lose this and might have to start again. So I right click, that's a right click and a menu appears. I move my mouse up to the word copy and then left click copy. 
OK. I can now click on OK to close this window down. I now need to open up a run box. So to do this, best way to do this is if you hold down the Windows key on your keyboard, this is usually in the bottom row of keys on the keyboard. Between the CTRL and ALT key, on the left hand side of the keyboard. So hold that down and with your other hand tap the letter R, R for Romeo on the keyboard. You'll see here a run box appears. Press the delete or the backspace key on your keyboard to uh, delete out whatever's in the run box and then again move your uh, curse, move your mouse into the open box anywhere in here and click the right mouse button that's the right mouse button. Move your mouse up to paste and then left click paste. Okay, and then you'll see the uh, what you got part of what you copied earlier come into the box below. So once that does, once that comes into the box there, the open box, click OK. Here you'll see a list of tracks that are um, in, in, in the same folder. Not necessarily the same album, uh, but in the same folder as, as the track that uh, you want to copy. So there's the one I want to copy, which is Never Knew Love. So if I left click this once, that's a one left click to highlight it. And then I click the right mouse button and again a menu appears. I move my mouse down to Send To. And this is where I hope you've remembered or written down what icon appeared when you plugged your external device into um, because you'll need that now. Now mine was E, it come up so as I can see there I move my mouse along to the right and to this menu here and there is E so I left click on E and it says here are you sure you want to copy this file without its properties? Now this may come up, it may not but I'll just click yes to this and here we go, the file is now copying across to the E drive. OK, so if I want to copy um, another track from this particular album, then I can, I can repeat the process. So um, first of all, have a look to see if it's shown on screen. If it's shown on screen, then all we simply do is we left click on the track that we want. So say if I wanted Innocent, which is the next track, left click once on it, as I say. OK, and then right click once, that's the right mouse button, move the mouse down to send to, the menu appears along the right and I find the drive that appeared when I plugged in the external drive, which in my case was the E drive, like I say this will be different on yours, and I left click again the drive. And again, it says here, are you sure you want to copy this file without its properties? Now, sometimes this comes up, sometimes it doesn't. I'll click yes to that and it's copying across. Now, if I can't find the next track that I want to uh, copy across, then what we do is we have to go back a step. So I click on the cross up here to get rid of that window. And um, as I can see, iTunes is still open, but if it's not still open on your screen, then uh, reopen it again find the next file that you want so okay so I'm going to I'm going to try and find uh, hearsay 89 so I left click once on hearsay 89 then I right click that's right click move my mouse up to get info and left click get info move my mouse up to file and left click file then I move my mouse down to location and I just need to move the mouse just before the C. So I may need to left click, yeah, just left click roughly around that area. And as you'll notice, the I appears. So I highlight everything up to the last forward slash. And like I say, you can include the last forward slash. You don't have to. Um, so when I've highlighted it, I let go of the left mouse button, click the right mouse button anywhere over the bit that I've just highlighted, move my mouse up to copy and left click copy. OK, now I can left click OK down here. I need to bring the run menu up. So once again, 
uh, push the Windows key. The Windows key is on the bottom row of keys on the keyboard, usually between the CTRL and ALT key. So hold that down, tap the letter R, R for Romeo, on your keyboard, and the run box appears. Okay, I'll let go of the Windows key. Delete out whatever is in the open box. So you can do that either with the delete key or the backspace key. Okay, and then I move my mouse into the open box and click the right mouse button again. Move my mouse up to paste and then left click paste. Then we click on OK and the uh, uh, file window opens. And as we can see there, there's here say 89. So I right click, sorry, I left click here say 89 once to highlight it and then right click, move my mouse up to send to and then across to the device that I plugged in. So in my case, it was the E drive and left click on the drive that you plugged in. OK, so it says, are you sure you want to copy the file with its properties? Yes. And there we go, it's now copied across. So we can double check this. So uh, what I can do is, I can let's just close these windows down here. So I'm closing the window down there, close iTunes. And I've st still got this PC open and hopefully you should have this PC or my computer or computer still open. If not, click on the yellow folder down the bottom there and uh, and then click this PC on the on the side or if you're using Windows XP or Windows Vista click on start and click on my computer or computer okay and there I've got the E drive there so I double click E drive and there I can actually see there's the three files that I've copied onto here now if you want to you can put them into a folder so you can create a folder just by right clicking anywhere in a blank area on the external drive Move your mouse down to New and then across to Folder and it comes up New Folder. So here I can give our folder a name. So I'm just going to call it Music. OK, call it Music and then press Enter or Return on the keyboard once I've typed that in. And then we can drag the files down by holding down the left mouse button whilst dragging move it over music you'll see that the music folder will darken and you might get a move to music appear and then let go of the mouse left mouse button then I go to the next file again hold down the left mouse button over the next music file move it down to music and then let go and finally do the same again so hold down the left mouse button oh, if, if, if you get stuck anywhere just click any on any blank spot left click once on any blank spot and that'll reset um, the, uh, the the clicking so I move my mouse up to here say 89 hold down the left mouse button oh sorry done it again so I'm just going to click away click once on here say 89 and then hold down the left mouse button on it and move it down to music and then let go of the mouse, the mouse button double click on music just to check the files and there they all are now it's optional if you want to put that in a folder or not you, do, you don't have to and uh, that's it. That's how you copy iTunes music to an external drive. Now, please be aware that if you're copying it to an external drive to play on another device, now some of the music might actually be in a format that's not supported by the other device. It might be copy protected, so you might not be able to play it. So uh, generally, this, this, this really works on most computers and most devices, but there may be some that... Uh, it, it, it just doesn't work on because it it's not designed to recognize the format or it may be copy protected especially if you've bought it from a store such as the iTunes store or Amazon